how David is moving in the midst of curses and stones and insults. He keeps on doing what he's doing, trying to stop his movement, trying to stop his progress, trying uh, to stop his advancement. Uh, no matter what this man did, no matter what God allowed him to keep doing, David and his men just kept moving. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but I'm preaching to somebody who is on the path of manifested purpose. And it seems like God is allowing the enemy to use everything he has to distract you. It feels like God is allowing the enemy to pull out all the stops bringing up your yesterday God accusing you of stuff that ain't really none of your business throwing stuff on you that you didn't have anything to do with he keeps throwing keeps throwing and it's nothing more than a distraction whatever you do keep your focus will you turn to somebody and and say don't you dare lose your focus maybe the reason that God is allowing it watch this is to help you be more adept to help you to be more mature in being able to stay focused no matter what I'm preaching to about 10 of y'all today who say Bishop it seems like everything is coming at me but I have made up in my mind that no matter what distractions come I will not pay attention to the distractions because I got better on the horizon will you tell somebody I've made up in my mind that no matter what distractions come I'm not going to let them get me off course I'm not let, going to call let them to cause me to waver I'm not going to let them cause me to give up on my promise I'm not going to let them cause me to walk away from my purpose out of all that I've been through I have learned how to ignore distractions you want to make the enemy real mad just don't pay him no attention you want to make the enemy real disappointed just keep moving keep growing 